Good morning, beloved. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Today our scriptures uh, speak about um, basically the generosity of God and how our response should be equal to that, you know, if responding generously to God as he has given generously to us our whole lives, everything that we have. And, um, and we see that our giving, Sirach mentioned in that first reading, that our giving um, should be a response of thanksgiving. Right? Anytime we give anything to God, whether it's time, talent, or treasure, it should be a response of thanksgiving for what he has given to us. As the author there said, God, uh, to, he basically said that, and then he said, because God does not accept bribes. You think about bribes, you're giving something to get something back. I'll give you this if you give me that. I'm going to give you this, and I want this favor back, or I want that back. And that doesn't work with God. That's not a kingdom principle um, in, in God's household. So the author mentions that, and that basically takes care of um, all of the false prosperity gospels that get preached out there at different times. You know, where they'll, they'll take that principle and twist it uh, and, and use what was said in the gospel today even to twist it and say, say, Jesus said, if, if you give a hundred times more, we'll be given back to you, you know? So give a hundred bucks today in the offering and God will give you a hundred times a hundred back to you at some time in your life, you know? He promises. But actually, Jesus didn't say that, did he? <laughs> the wisdom literature from Sirach specifically says, God does not accept bribes. If you and I give him something to, in order to get something in return, specifically, he does not accept that offering from us. That is not a good, pleasing offering. That's an offering like Cain in Genesis that gets rejected. It's not a pleasing offering to God. In fact, you... Just look at the scripture in the gospel today, and actually Jesus never, ever mentions money. He doesn't say whoever gives up money, they'll get some money in return, <laughs> right? He says, whoever has given up house, brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, or lands for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, not to get something in return, but given up to give something for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, they will receive a hundred times more now in this present age, houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, lands. Again, there's no money in there. <laughs> money is not mentioned in that one with persecutions, all that get, comes in this life, and then in e you get eternal life in the age to come. In other words, Jesus is showing us here that we're, whatever we're giving up here to follow him, it's to follow him means to join his family. So if we give up our family things here, we're going to get all of his family things, right? So everything he mentioned is really family stuff. House, land, brother, sister, mother, father, children. Notice he did not say spouse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you don't get to give up your husband or wife, you know, and then get a hundred more husbands or wives, right? <laughs> but if you and I give up anything, um, of family life, which is probably the hardest thing to give up, the most precious in every culture and society. We are joining Jesus' family, and he gives us everything he has. We give up houses. We give up brothers and sisters. We get the brothers and sisters of Jesus. We give up children. Every child of God becomes our child. We give up the house or land. Well, we get our father's house. We give up, have to give up a mother. We get, as we saw yesterday, the mother of Jesus. We give up, have to give up a father. We get our father in heaven, the father of Jesus. So we are getting, we're joining a family so we get everything the family has. 
brothers, sisters, children's house, lands. In other words, we get loved as Jesus is loved. And wherever Jesus is welcomed, we'll be welcomed. But wherever Jesus is rejected, we'll be rejected. That's the persecution that comes. Wherever Jesus is despised, looked down upon, hated, ridiculed, mocked, we receive that as well. All by joining the family of Jesus. What have you given up to follow Jesus? Is there something specific in your life you can say, yeah, I had to let that go so I could follow you, Lord. There needs to be something or you might not really be following, you might just be watching from a distance. And then whatever it is we've given up, when the hard times come, the persecutions come, the temptation is going to be, um, is it worth it? Was this worth it? The temptation can be, we can be tempted to resent God for what we gave up. And all we're getting in this moment is hard times, challenges, persecutions, trials. Was this worth it? And at those moments, Jesus is teaching us here by this gospel as well, not to look only at what we've given up, but of what we're getting in, in response, what we're receiving. And ultimately, the great, wonderful, generous gift of eternal life in the age to come. In other words, we can't outgive God. <laughs> we can't outgive God. So, Father, we thank you so much for your generous nature and how you give us everything we have and want to give us a hundred times more than that if we'll just trust you and give it all back to you in, in, in thanksgiving and gratitude for your generosity. So we just pray you'd increase, fill us with your Holy Spirit, the spirit of generosity today to, to entrust our lives to you more fully. If there's anything we're holding back, uh, even if it's just stepping out of our comfort zone for you, help us to give that to you today. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Let us